Umbrella over Berlin. Ed was shopping for the perfect umbrella to take on his trip to Germany. When the shopkeeper handed him the classic black one with a sporty stripe, Ed knew this was the one. Ed opened it with a pop, but then gave a startled jump in disbelief. I think this umbrella just shook my hand. He lifted it up and twirled it about slowly. Then he said, "You'd like to go see Berlin with me, wouldn't you? Come on, traveling partner, we're off." But the umbrella didn't get to see Germany the first day. The autumn sun was bright and warm, so when Ed dropped his things at his hotel. The umbrella was left behind in his suitcase. Later that evening, Ed called his mother and recounted his day. Mom, the Brandenburg Gate is amazing. I heard a tour guide say it's Berlin's greatest landmark, and it's now a national symbol of peace and unity. It's really something to see. When he'd said goodbye, Ed noticed the umbrella had rolled out of his suitcase. Ed picked it up, saying, "You must have wanted to go along today, maybe tomorrow, old sport." And he placed it back in his case. But the next day was bright and sunny again. "Sorry, old sport," Ed said to the umbrella. Looks like I won't need you today. The umbrella looked sad to Ed, so he added, "Maybe tomorrow." When Ed returned to the hotel, he called his mother again. Today he had visited the Berlin Wall. It came down in one night, and there's only one section left, which looks just like a scar. There were only a few clouds high in the sky over Berlin on the third day. The umbrella was left to lie silently in the dark suitcase again. That evening, when Ed called his mother, his voice was quieter. He told her he'd visited the Holocaust Memorial, which honors the Jewish victims of World War II. There are two thousand seven hundred eleven concrete slabs, some almost sixteen feet high. Ed was silent for a moment, reflecting on what he'd seen. Then he heard his mother speaking to him and nodded as he said, "Yes, yes, it is so important to remember." Later that night, it finally started to rain. Ed took out his umbrella and said, "Well, traveling partner, looks like you'll finally get to see Berlin." But the next morning was another sunny day. "Sorry, old sport," Ed said to the umbrella, as he left it on the window sill and headed off to see more sights. The umbrella felt the breeze rising off of the river Spree. It rolled off the window sill and pop, it opened up and floated outside. A gust of wind carried it into the clouds over Berlin, like a big black flower blooming in the sky. A little girl saw it first. Regenschirm. She shouted, "The umbrella quite liked how its name sounded in German." Soon, lots of people were looking up at the umbrella as it rode on the breeze high over Berlin. The umbrella flew over all the sights Ed had talked about. It flew over the Brandenburg Gate and the Berlin Zoo. It flew over Central Station, 
and the Linden Tree Street. It flew over Alexander Square, the Reichstag building, and over the River Spree. Meanwhile, Ed had returned to his hotel room and began packing his suitcase for his trip home. He looked on the windowsill for his umbrella. Now, where could it be? Just then, it floated in through the window. Ed was amazed and shook his head in disbelief. Well, old sport, I guess you got to see Berlin after all. Then Ed chatted with the umbrella the whole while he packed, and he carried the umbrella on his arm as they began their journey home.